So what does it take for a story to be successful? Well, no matter how long or short it is, every successful story has three elements. A hero, which is the person who the story is about, a villain, or more specifically, conflict. This is what gets in the way of the hero. And a quest, which the hero goes on, or as we call it, her or his passion. What is it that drives her or him? Well, let's take a look at an example. Now, we all know the story of Star Wars. Luke Skywalker is a hero. Darth Vader, or ultimate power, is the villain. The passion of the quest is positivity. It's the light side of the force. But a story doesn't have to be a saga. A story doesn't have to start with once upon a time in a far off galaxy, and it doesn't have to run hundreds of pages long. The truth is, a story can be told in just a few words, or even a powerful image. Now, a great example of that is the Ernest Hemingway tale. While drinking at the Algonquin, Hemingway was challenged to write a story using only six words. Well, of course, he took the challenge. And his story? For sale. Baby shoes. Never worn. Now, that's pretty powerful stuff, right? It's a complete story in six words. But how does all this relate to marketing? How do we apply it to products? Or put a different way, when promoting a product, who's the hero? Who's the villain or conflict? And what is the passion or quest? Now, a mistake many marketers and companies make is to believe that they, or their product, is the hero. Here we come to save the day. But when thinking about the hero, it's important to remember that those who make purchasing decisions are people first and foremost. And I'm sorry to say, but they don't really care about you. They care about their own agenda, right? In our Star Wars example, Luke is the hero, not his lightsaber. So if you and your product are the hero of the story, well, eh, they don't care. They really don't. They care about their own needs and wants, period. So who needs to be the hero? Your customer, always. Then who is a villain, or stated differently? What is a challenge or conflict? Contrary to what you might think, it's not your competition. It's the larger problem you're out to help solve for customers. It's how you want to better the world, or at least one person. Once you have a clear hero in conflict, you then need to determine what the hero's passion or quest is. Every good story has one, a hero's journey. And this is where the why you do what you do comes in. Sure, we're all interested in making money, but that shouldn't be your why. Your why needs to be more than just selling a product or service. It actually needs to embody a larger concept, a calling. It needs to answer why you and your team get out of bed every day. So when it comes to connecting with your customers or clients, values are important. People care about what you stand for. They care about why you do what you do. In fact, among consumers who have stated they have strong relationships with a brand, 64% said it was because they had shared values. Next up, we'll dig deeper into how you need to articulate your why.